beats me. When I was streaming, when I streamed Tuesday, I streamed around 11 o'clock. It was early. There was a reason for that. Me and my friend Smug, we were uh, yes. binging through Code Geass. Now, me personally, like, like I already made a video on it. Like, I had already seen Code Geass well at that point. When it came to, like, watching it again, it's just like, I mean, I wasn't opposed to it, but it was just like, I don't really think about, like, watching it twice in a row. But uh, we were talking about what, it was, it was about, like, we were just talking about Ruby and we were criticizing how uh, bad it was at portraying inequality and racial uh oppression i think it used to be good when it first started out but like later seasons i would say that ruby has like gone downhill in that regard the more i look at what ruby tries to do with like oppression what and racism like? later on down the line the more projective it feels in response to this i bring up how kogias actually sure does really a good job useful. of doing it like it's like here's the thing we're not just told we are we see Thanks How bad the Japanese have it, especially in the second season. Like it is, oh god! Like the first episode in the second season is just, oh, it's horrendous. So I bring it up as Kokias, and Smug tells me, "Oh man, I really need to watch Kokias some days." It's a shame I never have. Stroke, and that that shocked me because I was like, "Are you see all right, bro? <laughs> Guess what? We're binging now." <laughs> I thought I, I thought I knew you. I thought we were friends. In my own time, uh, I yes, like usually on, on a day or two, a day a week or Which so, ones? I gather some of my friends in for a call and we just watch anime. It's something I used to do, uh, it's something I, uh, my club used to do in high school. For the club that I used to be in, right? We would watch like one to two anime and like- Give me a break. At most, like, two episodes, maybe a movie. I think it was just, like, I, I, I don't know, maybe I wanted to keep up the tradition or something, but it was just, it was something that I just, I don't know, I, 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 I like the idea of just being able to Marvelous. get together once a week and watch anime. I don't know why it had to specifically Here be just Let's hear the a couple of episodes for anime or anything, but... I don't know, I just stuck with it. Basically, it's just like, I think what changed all of this immensely and what changed my perspective on this going forward is Kokias. So, Smug, yeah, to reiterate, Smug tells me, oh, she's never seen Kokias. I'm like, all right, you know what, we're, we're, we're doing this. We're watching Kokias. So I put on Kok so it was like a couple weeks ago, I put on Kokias and we're just watching it. We're, we're cracking jokes and everything, but she's loving it. She's loving the hell out of it. And there are times where it's like, she actually calls some stuff. And it took, like, because I'm, I'm in call with Arashi as well. And both of us, both me and Arashi have seen Kogias. We know stuff already. And so, like, seeing what uh, Smug says and what she, like, tries to call or tries to joke about, we're just like, oh, we know. We're not, we're just not going to say much until, like, we get to that point. Because we didn't want to, like, I, I made a big joke about this. You know, it's just like, oh, man. Is, uh, is the old, let oh, me guess, uh, Euphemia's a total psychopath, and it's just like... See, a thing about that is, Smug, is you'd get your answer if you'd watch the show. <laughs> I kept making that joke very early on, because it was just like, I didn't really want to say anything. I did have this one really funny joke, where, um, I didn't tell them this, but... Like, we were making constant references to Code Men because, I'm gonna be honest, it's one of the only funny things to come out of the Code Geass fandom. Because a lot of those jokes are really bad. Like, the the Co Code Geass fans, I don't know what it is. It just, a lot of the jokes are just not funny. I don't know why. It's just a lot of the jokes just are not funny. And I made this elaborate joke where, like, around episode 16, which was the last episode of Code Men, I didn't tell them this, but... I took the entire episode of Code Geass, and for the sake of one joke, I exported an entire, like, 22-minute file and made one edit of the I'm at Soup bit. It just elaborately cuts into, uh, just from being talking about the show and everything to the I'm at Soup bit. First, I'm going to pay you back for that little session the other day. You're somewhere within 500 meters of me. Of course. Want to try- What the fuck? He hung up on me! Hello? Hey, what's up? I need your help. Can you come here? Ugh, I can't. I'm buying clothes. Alright, well hurry up and come over here. Well, I can't find them. What do you mean you can't find them? I can't find them. There's only soup. I didn't tell anybody. 
And then, as soon as we get to the moment, Smuggles is like, Dude, I choked on my water! I, didn't, I was not expecting that, so that was highlight at the time. You know, we get to some of the, like, the most infamous moments in, uh, Kogias, like, especially in Season 1. And she's making this jo she's making these jokes about the characters, and on one hand, like, Smart she's calling kid. stuff left and right, but on the other hand, it's what also without context. It's just like, we get to the most infamous moment, and she's like, dude, I was fucking kidding. Smug's like, dude, I was fucking kidding. I didn't realize the show was gonna go this way. Why? A lot of the stuff that season two does is like, it's not bad, but I do think in some cases it does pale in comparison in other ways. There are some things where I think season two is weaker in comparison to season one, but it's still good. And then we get to the ending, and the entire time, like, again, me and Arashi knew what was going on. I had this really an idea of just like, what if we just mess with her? Like, with the way the show is trying to play off, like it's its final arc and the ending and everything, I'm just like, what if we act like that's genuine? What if we act like this is all exactly all according to like this is exactly what the show had in mind, and this is like all genuine. None of it is like a front or anything. It's like, it was just something I didn't want to actually spoil for her. It was like, I, I was telling her some details left and right, but it was just like, this was something I was just like, I did not want to spoil this at all for her. I wanted her to understand, oh, hello. like, just how big of a fucking, like, how big of a fucking moment this was in the series. She really loved it, and I only had, like, one question of her, like, after all of this, right. now you understand why... I had such a big deal with you not actually, like, ever seeing Kogias, and she's like, yes, I understand now, I, I, I get it, it's like, it's like, um, Danny DeVito in Always Sunny, she's like, I, I get it now, I understand. If there was also something that she said, like, wait, was Ruby trying to, like, do what this series was trying to do? And we were both, and she understood, it's just, like, where I was coming from in terms of why Ruby was, uh, bad at portraying, like, racism and oppression. 